Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Tao here, AlienSwag50, and welcome back to another Blue and Steve Ales video. This one, we got another special tower showcase here for you. This is a tower I definitely have not reviewed yet, so now you can see it on the screen. It is the Glue Factory. So we've had a Spike Factory, duh, it's in the game. We've had a Pineapple Factory mod, and now we have the motherfucking Glue Factory. For those who don't know, Glue used to be a road item, just like Spikes and Pineapples are right now in BT5 in uh, Blue Star Defense 3? And also maybe 4? And also maybe 2? I... I'm a little hazy on this. I know three and two for sure, but you can place down glue as a road item. It didn't do shit. It didn't do anything except like slow down ten balloons. It was more useful than road spikes by far. Genuinely, really bad. So the creators of the mods thought, "Hey, let's take this shitty road item and turn it into a tower." So that's exactly what they have right here. And to be honest, at first it seems like it's total trash, but as you upgraded. It's honestly freaking OP, probably the strongest modded tower yet. <coughs> At least in my opinion. So, right now we actually have it up to 2 3. I won't be able to show you upgrade by upgrade because the freaking upgrade descriptions haven't been updated, so it doesn't say what the tower actually does. Some of the upgrades I don't even know. It's just like the sec first and second tiers, I think it just increases speed and increases increases like the blob side third tier to the right side gives like spikes on it so actually pop some balloons i think although i'm not quite sure in addition to the group glue being corrosive i believe but now the ability you can actually see the ability in play already you can see the freaking four tier spike factory launches a giant and i mean giant glob of glue on the track now how massive is this glob well it can slow down moves bfbs and that sort of stuff and maybe even pop ZOMGs. So I'm up against Oski right here who's testing out the uh, cool new flamethrower tower. Which I may do a video about in the future. I'm not quite sure. But just watch this ZOMG get completely obliterated by the pile of semen. It's like one of those weird who would win things. A giant zeppelin capable of like destroying 60,000 monkey towns or some glob of semen. Yeah, it's the semen wins. It's insanely strong. <laughs> and it's still there too. Like you keep activating the ability and it comes back and you keep making a new glob. Eventually the spikes run out, but there's still like more glue after the spikes, which releases 3-2 glue gunner glue. So it can pretty much pop ceramics and... Uh, you know, lower level balloons pretty easily. And I believe it still does slow down moabs. It's actually kind of cool watching the glue gunner actually slow down moabs. It, it kind of makes you think, right? A lot of people are, you know, would think a cool glue, glue buff would be for glue to affect moabs. Maybe not to, like, the full extent, but let's just say people, like, wanted the fourth tier on the left side glue to, like, hit moabs, and then the glue would soak into ceramics and keep popping it. And if it, like, slows down the moab and keeps soaking into the lower level balloons, it gets really overpowered, which you'll see shortly. But we are going to continue on this roadblock game, and we're like, well, shit, I mean, we're not beating anything anytime soon. You know, he, I'm not getting beat. Oski's not getting beat, and Oski has some pretty overpowered towers. Oski's got that elemental tower upgrades all the blades and the... Uh, Apache dart ship. I think he sold the flamethrower. I guess he didn't like it. It's a shame. Flamethrower is pretty good, fam. And he's kind of actually getting overwhelmed by the mass amount of AI balloons. The AI balloons actually become a major pain eventually. But yeah, there you can see the 3 2 glue. I panicked and boosted for no reason. Yeah, it was kind of dumb. But you can see the mobs actually being slowed down a little bit and then, you know, being popped by the few spike piles that are still there. And we only have two glue gutters, I mean, or two glue factories, and that's just stopping everything. It's. Really insane. Doing a lot better than Oski's side. There's a bit of lag going on, and I'll talk about that in a bit. Actually, I could talk about that right now because I gotta admit, in this mod, he kind of lag a lot. There's just so many AI balloons and just so many balloons in general. Like, the AI sends, like, in past mid-20s and later on. It's just super dense, super clumped balloons, so you have to pop a lot, and... You have to make sure you pop it fast because some of them will regrow, so they'll regrow into even more balloons. And it takes a massive toll on your game. Now, even though I have a beastly as hell computer, there's a bit of an internet restriction too because this game is online. So you have to like have every action go through a Ninja Kiwi server or whatever. And my internet is pure trash, so re reacting is kind of tough. There'll be some lag and there'll be some input problems, but it looks like you're doing okay right now. Oski's probably getting that major lag right now, though. 
like I'm able to operate, but Oski's just leaking like crazy. Hell, I even popped all the blues for round 32. All the ceramics gone. And so is Oski. Oski's also gone. So that was a decent round 32 game, but let's see how powerful the glue can actually get. The glue factory. It's not a tower you want to start off with, so I'm not really doing that. Playing against ISAB here now on the longest map in, well, one of the longest maps in the game. I guess there's some maps longer than it, but, well, you know, it's probably one of the easiest late game maps by far, without a doubt. So I'm bringing the glue factory again, and we'll see if we can just spam those, get a bunch of glue up, and just wreck shop. Also got super monkeys, just because they're also a decent late game tower, and I wouldn't mind them helping out against the massive swarms of balloons, like getting sun gods, maybe a temple if I felt like it. Like, I feel like I'm confident in my glue factories to be able to pop all the moebs down, but it's like the balloons inside, they're just going to be really annoying. So yeah, we're actually getting up a glue uh, fa factory right away. I mean, it's so cheap, you might as well. You don't really have to spend much on it at, at all. And what's funny is that even though th this like pops w or slows down way, 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 way more balloons than a normal zero zero glue gunner, it, it still costs way less. Which is a testament to how underpowered the normal glue gunner is in game. Like $300 to glue one balloon, and if you pop it, the glue goes away, and the glue doesn't even pop anything by itself. What the fuck, Ninja Kiwi? Honestly, in my opinion, all the low-level glue gunners just need a massive price buff. Like, freaking what you get for the Zero Zero glue gunner? That costs like $25, but realistically, I could see it being $100 or $150. Like, yes, it could be that cheap. You, I, I feel like I would prefer most road items over the Zero Zero glue gunner. Hell, I'd even prefer the glue blob. I mean, sometimes you can use that against like 10 grouped rainbows. And I think it soaks as well, the glue blob, so that's even infinitely infinitely more useful so yeah that needs to be buffed and just all left side in general just needs to be better against larger groups of balloons like honestly the glue gunner needs a massive buff so back to glue factory though in these games we actually don't get to see what the left side glue factory is and that's because well like i said before i have no idea what the upgrades actually do because it doesn't tell me it, it says the normal it says the spike factory upgrade descriptions when you do the question mark tooltip type thing it, it it says what it would for spike factory and i guess it makes sense because like in tower selection screen it's a spike factory and it's modded over the spike factory but we don't get to find out what the left-sided glue factory actually does so i might as well tell you it basically becomes a pineapple factory that also glues the balloons it pops which is pretty interesting it's kind of cool the left side all the way to the max i think the pineapples pop seven layers each and then glue the remains, and they do glue mobs, so they will consistently slow down mobs, which is something I did not expect. It's cool, but I don't think it's good as the unstoppable glue glob. I tested it out in practice mode, actually. I think it popped close to 30,000 balloons. So yeah, it's probably a little bit overpowered, and a bit of lag city, because there's so many uh, sprites being made, right, from the actual you know, glue glob. Like, that's just not one singular object. It's like, <laughs> it's thousands and thousands of objects, and that, you know, causes a lot of lag, I guess. Alright, so now we're starting to get to, to interesting rounds. We got our glue factory and elemental tower combo. I'm thinking I can kind of use those together pretty well, because the elemental tower, you can use that to blow back moebs and BFBs and stun them a bit, and stun them right over where all the glue is being produced, so they just get constantly glued and constantly popped. At least, <coughs> that's the idea. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry about the coughs, guys. I'm just a little bit under the weather. It's it's about that time when everyone in our freaking campus is getting sick and just getting down with the flu. It's terrible, really, but, I mean, what can you do? I don't know. I, I guess you guys don't really get, give a shit about my sickness. What we do give a shit about is how quickly that BFB got destroyed. No help to the glue factory, though. Like, I mean, it probably did a little bit from the, uh, the spikes coming out of it. But most of the power was probably the elemental tower. Now we're going to drop a ZOMG over to ISEB side because he's just got a couple hacker monkeys and maybe an ice tower. So like, what's he going to do about that? Well, he's going to slow it down to infinity. He's going to use the ice ability. Then he's going to use the hacker monkey thing, which also slows down balloons to half speed. Then he's going to buy super monkeys and activate balloon traps everywhere. So clearly he's got this all figured out. He's got a hell of a defense set up. So unfortunately, I'm probably down on eco because I had to lose a bit sending that ZOMG. And ISAP's starting to get a bunch of money. So with all of his bunch of money, he's dropping me as the OMG. 
but it's okay. We got the glue glob, and I think you all know what happens when a ZOMG hits the glue glob. Oh, it gets slowed down first. And actually, I think that glue, glue glob was already touched quite a bit. Nope, there we go. There we go. There it is. Yep. Yep. The glue, I don't think, ever expires either. So we're going to jump ahead, actually, just uh, skipping some boring rounds because the uh, game is about to get interesting. Now, you can see, actually, not all the round 32 balloons got popped this time. We actually saw quite a few of them get glued and had to see the I the elemental tower in the background kind of helping out. So now the AIs get insane. So many BFPs in round 33, and these are, like, full health BFPs. Insane clumped mobs, insane clumped ceramics, and everything on round 34. So we got need we, we definitely need more glue factories. We got three of them right now, <coughs> and we got three of them. And those guys seem to be wrecking shop. I have no idea how many balloons are actually being sent, but you can see it's a massive cluster of them. This round seems to be a bit easier though. It's just like a few rabbits. And look at that clump of mobs. It's like if you mega boost on round 63, you turn the massive cluster of ceramics into mobs, which is insanity. Insane clumping for the BFPs and mobs, and they are just getting halted by the glue factory. So you can see the lag is starting to come into effect now, and it seems to specifically happen when the balloons hit the glue. So I don't know, you know whose fault that is. If Isab's lagging, I'm lagging. Or if my internet's lagging, the whole game's lagging. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. So, we're defending the mobs and BFPs pretty freaking well. Also, with a little bit of help from the Elemental Factory, or Elemental Tower. As you can see, we're just stalling the BFPs directly over the glue pile. So we can activate another glue ability and just pop up instantly, just like we did right there. I said I'm struggling a bit, because I remember he could only click, like, one thing every ten seconds. So he's like, oh shit, I need a temple, and I need a temple fast. So he's doing alright. And now he's dropping me around 39 ZOMZ. Geez, so this is when things get really interesting. Because that boy is fast, that boy is thick, and that boy is dead. He got destroyed, like, right away, too. And that was just, like, maybe four or five glue abilities activated at once. I wasn't quite paying too close to the attention. It's really hard to say. And now this round. Round 40. This round sucks. And, I mean, the BFBs aren't the problem. Or maybe it's next round. I forget. Either round 40 or 41 just really sucks. And it's not the BFBs or mobs. It is the insane amount of balloons underneath. I think officially I am not able to do or my input just hardly recedes. Well, I guess I can send some zebras, but actually what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to click the right uh, arrow button so I can scroll over the ZOMGs. There we go. But I guess I sent zebras. Does the game know what I want or something? Because I guess I really wanted zebras. <laughs> I don't know. It uh, clearly was not useful. But what is useful is just these, like, 9 or 10 glue factories still soloing everything. They're basically better than a temple and Ma Isab's massive army of super monkeys. It's insane, really. Alright, so now we're going to continue to place more of those, because, like, if they're doing that good a job already, you might as well just keep spamming them. Get them underneath a 4-2 village, too, because the village will actually reduce the cooldown time, which is uh, super useful, of, like, any abilities in this range, so you can activate the abilities more quicker. Oh yeah, it is this round that's a pain in the ass, though. All the BFPs are gone, but we still have an endless stream of regrow ceramics. Some of them are camo. You can't actually see the camo because they're hidden underneath the non-camo. That's how grouped they are. Like, I'm pretty sure he's sending a thousand balloons every couple seconds. And even my glue factories currently cannot handle it. But it's okay. The lag ended. We were able to spam quick our abilities. And now, those balloons ain't going anywhere. They ain't going nowhere. Let's get a temple. Temples are good against normal balloons. I just want to clear these up. Try to end the lag. Hashtag stop the lag 2K17. It's pretty bad. This footage has already sped up four times, and it looks like still slower. Like, if you watch the second count at the bottom, it's pretty accurate. It's pretty on point. So, you can imagine, we were playing at quarter speed, and it wasn't exactly the most fun. So, you have a feeling we're going to try to kill each other pretty soon, if we can, anyways. If we were able to send ZOMGs, I think they still would be destroyed, because I got the glue, I got the frickin'... Yeah, just so many piles sitting around. So many piles that haven't been touched either. They would be instantly vaporized. And lag is kind of preventing from sending ZOMGs. And actually, lag gets the better of us. You can't see it on my screen, but I do disconnect. Which is very sad, because I guess with this mod, it's not really possible to go late game. It's just, there's just too many clump balloons. It really preys on people with bad internet. And you know, potentially bad computers as well. Isab, at first, was lagging worse than me. Like, in the earlier stages, like the mid-30s, he was lagging. Then, 
<laughs> and like round 41, I disconnected. So clearly, I had some internet issues that uh, prevented the game from going on. So hopefully, this is an open letter to mod creators. Make the balloons less dense. We can defend as many ceramics as we want. It's just so lag intensive. It makes it kind of hard to do a showcase. This is literally the best I could do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this glue showcase. I hope you guys understood that how quickly it vaporized that round 39 ZOMG. Just how insane the ability is. It's really ridiculous. It is. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Next video coming Tuesday. So I hope to see you there. And that's about it. Peace out.